Joining me now is Rick McConnell, coach of the male varsity Buffalo team. A bit of a travel issue yesterday, but we're good to see you this morning, Rick. Good morning. Uh, how was uh, coming back home? Looking forward to getting back to your own bed? Well, we were looking. I was excited to get to my own bed. It took a while to get there, but um, a few bus issues and stop over in Fargo for a while, but we eventually made it home early this morning, so we're back, ready to go again. It's not like it was Calgary or Penticton. This was only Blaine, Minnesota. It wasn't too bad. And uh, a very busy weekend, four games, three days. Uh, give me some of the highlights of the games uh, for you this past weekend. Well, we started off strong. We played a played a Tampa Bay team and uh, played a good hockey game and, be, and beat them soundly. Um, I thought we played some good hockey, but as the weekend went on, uh, we struggled. I'll be very honest. We didn't have our best weekend of hockey. Injuries are taking its toll. Uh, we had a few guys sick, and we just didn't play. We didn't play a, a good weekend of hockey, so we got some work to do this week. Was there an overall general message over the entire weekend? I mean, you and I have talked extensively about just playing your own game, but was there a type of game or a style of game you wanted to focus on this past weekend? Yes, uh, we need to be quick, have our feet moving, and 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 speed and attack attack the offensive zone because the teams on there are all they're all physical teams. They come at us hard, and um, we're not a huge team. We're not small, but we're we're small compared to some of those teams. So they, uh, I put dressing to the boys. We have to be skating and moving our feet to compete, and we just didn't have it. We just weren't sharp this weekend, and uh, the results showed. Have you played any of these? I know you've played Prairie before, but have you played Fountain Valley or Valley Valor or the Tampa team before? Uh, we've played Valor before. Um, had a good game with them as well. But that 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 was a game we, we were really shorthanded. I had uh, Bear was suspended and five guys sitting out. So I'd like to. They're, they're a really good hockey team. Don't get me wrong, but um, I would like to play them again and with a full roster and healthy. And uh, I think we could we could beat them. How different is this? I mean, we talk age is number one, a big difference in maturity. But what else is different in playing in these showcases comparing to regular season action here in in the CSSHL? Well, these teams, th those teams are playing down there are four lines deep, six D solid goaltending. There's not really, they're 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 all very well balanced. Um, some of our teams in our league are top end strong and uh, just a little bit more of a difference in range of, of abilities. Um, it's not poor, but these prep teams are all, they're well-built teams. So um, obviously when my team, when I have injuries and, and, and things like that, um, they, were able, they were able to expose a few areas with us. But, you know, that's part of the process. I had a few guys threw into different situations. I had some defensemen playing forward to get us through the weekend. So all in all, it, 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 uh, it was a chance for some guys to get some different opportunities as well. So you're kind of smiling a little bit, Rick, there. So is it one of those things you just tap him on the shoulder and say, get out there? And you're like, what? I'm like, there's 2D out there. You just tell him to go play forward and good Lord willing, things will work out? Or No, we we discussed it with a few of them, a couple of them, and they've played a little bit. And uh, they, they they were good with it. They didn't mind going out there. They kind of had some fun with it, actually. That's a good thing. I mean, like these, I mean, obviously these showcase games show a little bit of different side of the team. But moreover, it's also a bit of a practice when it comes back to playing league action. I always find that when you go to a showcase and you play a league action and coming up this weekend, uh, which we'll get to in a second, the boys are more prepared and they're more ready to play. Do you notice that as well when you see coming back from a showcase weekend? Well, absolutely, because the tempo down there is it's 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 a little bit it's a little bit higher. There's just it's it's a little bit different brand of hockey. So uh, the physicality, especially. So yes, I'm hoping that it carries over again and. Um, I I told the boys we're gonna have three tough practices this week. I I wasn't happy. We're gonna compete, and we're gonna be prepared for three big games this weekend. Yes, we got a couple of games on Saturday, correct against IHA. Yeah, and also we play them on Sunday morning too. We're playing a makeup game at nine o'clock on Sunday morning as well. So so we got three games going in less than twenty four hours against the same opponent. Uh, tell me, how does that in your mind as a coach? Are you preparing just for the first game and then leading into the second and third? Are you planning for the entire weekend, or how are you going no. to preparation for this game? Uh, we're going to prepare game by game. Um, we got to take it a game at a time. I know they're not high in the standings, but in our league, you got to come to play every day. Anybody can beat you. So we're we're going to work. And then the way we've been playing a little bit here, we've got to turn things around. So I'm just going to take it to be on a shift by shift. But we'll look at the first game and. And, and prepare for that and worry about game two and game three once we 
complete game one. But game one's going to be – we got to be ready to play. They're coming in here, and they got nothing to lose playing us, right? We're sitting up pretty high in the standings, and teams like that come in, and it's a challenge for us. We're going to have to be prepared, but we will be. I have no issues with the boys. Um, after two or three good practices, these, these kids will be ready to go. We're going to have more of a full roster. I know you said injuries and a bit of uh, illnesses with the team. We're going to have a pretty full roster coming into this weekend? You know, Theo, I'm not sure. Uh, the question mark is up. <laughs> we had a couple of kids we, that stayed at home over the weekend, and then I got a couple more uh, injured on the on the weekend. So uh, we'll take it day by day here. I'd, I'm hoping to have a full lineup, but I wouldn't count on it. Okay, so we might might see some more defense playing forward and vice versa. You're not going to put Jordy McGinney in uh, regular clothes and get him to play third line center, are you? Hey, we thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> you probably would chomp at the bit, I'm sure. But you know, getting one of those goals like a net miner, you never know with Jordan. I mean, he's got that. He's he's got a sense of humor. Let's look put it at that. Yeah. So sure. IHA not sitting high in the standings, not putting down your guard as Pilot Mount sitting close to the top or at the top. One last question for you, Coach, before I let you go. I mean, you talk about having those games that you're not happy with. Have you ever had those games where you just throw out the tape and just don't really consider that as being a teachable lesson or a teachable opportunity for the team or just kind of throw it in the garbage and then can move on to the next? Yes, we've, we've, had, we've had a couple of those stinkers. But, you know, this weekend, um, I wouldn't put them in that category. We can learn from um from our games um we did a little video of a couple of the games and actually there's lots to learn from the games we played down there just uh, mental breakdowns just uh, to me it was a lack of effort uh, i don't want to say effort but it just things just weren't clicking I, i'm not i part of it i i i don't want to make excuses but the injuries we had all our lines all mixed up and we just didn't have any chemistry any flow it just it wasn't a, a weekend so um, we are looking at video and we'll go over it and We'll be prepared. First month is almost in the books in 2020. What have you noticed in that play since the break? Well, we've been uh, we haven't been as sharp uh, as we were before the break, so we continue to push. And um, you know, it's a tough time of year right now. The kids are writing exams, trying to finish off semester. There's a lot going on with these guys too, and I totally understand that working at the school. So. Um, Trying to trying to manage our time, get our practice time in, get our study time in, stay healthy, you know, and all the rest. It's it's a tough time of year, so we'll plug through it. It's all part of the process for these guys, and you know, the kids are good spirits, good attitude about it all. You know, there was no sour grapes or anything over the weekend. We know we can be better, and we talked about it. We're just going to come to work this week and get back at it. So mental focus on the ice, off the ice. I know education and the academics is a huge deal. Coach Rick McConnell, thanks for joining me this morning. I know you got to get back to class as well. Three games this weekend, two on Saturday. The uh, early morning, is it a 10.30 start on Saturday and a 7 p.m. on Saturday? Is that correct? Correct, yes. And then a 9 a.m. makeup. Uh, it'll be a fun. If you don't know your IHA uh, storylines and you don't know your team very well, don't worry. You'll get to see them here on Amateur Sports TV as well. And you get to know the names in the back of the jersey very quickly and very well during the weekend. Rick, thanks very much. Have a great rest of the week. Uh, take care of the boys and hopefully see a healthier roster come Saturday morning. Thank this you. This is Theo on Amateur Sports TV with the Pilot Mountain Hockey Academy show. Joining me, Coach Rick McConnell of the Male Varsity team, taking on IHA this weekend in Blackjack Stewart Arena. Come and join. Check out some of the action if you're down there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you this weekend. Thanks, Rick. Thank you, Theo.